Hello everyone, this is Dr. Ananya. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'll be talking about HIV test. Before beginning the video, I'd like you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't, so that I can share all the valuable and useful information with you. So first of all, let us know what is HIV test. An HIV test is a test that tells if you are infected with HIV or not. HIV usually stands for Human Immunodeficiency Virus. HIV is a virus that attacks and destroys the complete immune system of a human body. The cells in the immune system protect us from the bacteria or germs that causes disease. If you lose too many such kind of cells, then you will lose the ability to fight the infection. So, what are the different types of HIV tests? There are mainly three types of HIV tests. HIV antibody test, HIV antibody antigen test, and HIV viral load. HIV antibody test is done to check the presence of antibodies in blood or saliva. Your immune system makes antibodies when you are exposed to bacteria or viruses like HIV. An HIV antibody test can determine if you have antibodies from week 3 to week 12 after the infection. Nowadays, it is also possible to get this test done at home, which maintains the privacy. Now, let us talk about HIV antibody antigen test. This test looks for antibodies and antigens in your blood. An antigen is a part of virus that triggers the immune system. If you have been exposed to HIV, this test will show up the antigens in the blood before formation of antibodies. This test can find HIV within 2-6 to six weeks of infection. Now let's talk about the next one that is HIV viral load. This test measures the amount of HIV virus in the blood. This is one of the fastest tests but it's also very expensive. Now let's come to the next point. Why do you need the HIV test? CDC recommends that anyone from age 13 to 64 must do this test as a part of health routine. You must also do this test if you are at higher risk of getting infected. HIV mainly spreads through sexual contact and blood. In some conditions, HIV infection can spread from mother to child during birth and breastfeeding. So, if you are pregnant, your doctor can also ask for HIV test. So, what happens during HIV test? During HIV test, a small sample of blood is withdrawn from the vein of your arm, which is then sent to the laboratory. For home test, a small sample of saliva and a blood drop would be required. You can do this test at home with the help of kit. Remember to follow all the instructions mentioned in the kit. So, do you need to prepare anything for this test? As this test only requires a small amount of blood, it needs no preparation. But it's always recommended to talk to your doctor once before taking the test. So, are there any risks of the test? There are almost no risks to the test until the needle is sterilized and the site is cleaned. So, what do the results mean? If your result is negative, it means you don't have HIV. Sometimes, it may also mean that you may have HIV, but it's so soon to tell. It can take a few weeks to develop antigens and antibodies after an infection. If your result is positive, you will have to do the test again to confirm the diagnosis. Remember, it does not necessarily mean that if you have HIV, you also have AIDS. Although HIV has no cure, but it can be controlled with medicines. The medicines that are used to control HIV are called as ART. ART can significantly reduce the amount of HIV in blood. If you are living with HIV, it's very important for you to see a doctor regularly. Also, it's necessary to get tested from a reputed and reliable lab. A link to a reputed and reliable lab will be provided to you in the description below. If you have any questions or any suggestions, please feel free to comment down below. Till then, stay safe and stay healthy.